What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upload videos directly from Premiere Pro. So here we are in Premiere Pro CC, and as you can see I just have a simple clip on my video track at the moment, and all I'm going to do is press X on my keyboard to bring up these regions, and now what we're going to be doing is coming up to File, Export, and Media. Now instead of going through the general export settings which you would see here, you can also see there's a tab which says publish. So you're going to select publish and as you'll see from here, if I just minimize this, you can see you can actually export not only to YouTube direct, you also have access to export to all of these platforms here. Now of course for this I'm going to be showing you YouTube, so I'm going to select YouTube here and as you can see you will need to be logged into your channel. So Right now, I'm going to log into my channel. So once you've entered all your details, you will be asked if Adobe.com wants to access your Google account. Of course, you have to allow it in order for them to publish it directly. So once that is done, you can see I am now logged in. Make sure you are selected on the right channel. As you can see directly, you can choose a playlist which you have on your channel. And then, of course, you have the title. So I'm just going to put example. Then, of course, you can have access to putting a description. Again, I'll put example. Privacy, I don't want to pub make this public. Um, I'm going to leave it unlisted for now. Then we have tags. Again, put as many tags as you want to. I'm just going to put example for now. And it does say a comma separated the words. So, for example, um, say example was the first tag, put comma, and then put, I don't know, jump, comma, space, you get the point. So that's how you would enter your tags. Just put a comma between each of them. Custom thumbnail, so you can see, you can pick directly from uh, the video. So if you select frame from source video, you then select a certain part in the video and use that as the uh, thumbnail. Or of course, if you've already made one, you just select from image file. Now you can also get the ability to delete the local file after you have uploaded. Again, that is up to you. And then after that, let's say you're always going to be using the same description, you're going to be using the same tags, and you want to basically not put them over and over again. So we can actually save this as a preset. So if you come up to the top, where it says export settings again, and then you would select save preset. So you can call this, and I'll call this YouTube exports, and you want to select, of course, the saving the publish settings and select OK. So now them settings will always be saved here. So once again, I'll minimize the export settings and just like that, we're good to go. Now, a little trick I'm going to be telling you here is if you press export, it means you won't be able to edit anymore in Premiere Pro and you'll have to wait until it is completed. If you select Q, then as you can see, it will go to the Adobe Media Encoder queue, meaning it will be exporting on that software and not Premiere Pro, meaning Premiere Pro will be free for you to continue editing on. Now, another thing to note from here that Premiere Pro itself will be picking the export settings. So it'll be picking the best ones for YouTube. So right now I'm going to select export simply because I don't need to wait. I just need to export it straight away. It's going to be going onto YouTube unlisted and then I'll take you over to my channel as well and we'll check it out if it's happened. And I'll also be honest with you, this is my first time trying this right now. So it's also a test for me to see if it works. So as you can see, after it's done that little export, it's now also going to be uploading the file. And again, it's a very short video I'm uploading, so it's going to be very quick for me. And just like that, you can see we are now at 100% on the upload file. That has now minimized. It's automatically saved the project. Next thing I want to do is head over to my channel and we'll see if it's been uploaded. So here we are in my dashboard and as you'll see right here, example has been uploaded. Remember we called it example, it has appeared and we'll just play this through, put it full screen. Of course the quality is not going to be the best because it's literally just been uploaded, but you can see it has been uploaded for us. So directly from Premiere Pro, it has gone straight onto our YouTube channel and of course it has gone unlisted like we requested. Also just to point out, the um, tags did work out, so we put example, comma, space, and then jump, comma, space, and then space. So you can see that is also working as well. 
and I do recommend you upload it as either unlisted or private beforehand because then you can go ahead and watch back the video again one final time before you upload it in case of any mistakes and then you can also add on your end screens and your cards before the video goes live.